All right, so let's talk about declaration and variables. So each Java file, um, you know, if you have something, something dot Java, um, each Java file represents uh, one and only one public class and vice versa. Every public class gets its own Java file. Um, sometimes you can have private classes within the same Java file as a, a public class, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Um, we're mostly concerned about public classes. So the file name and the class name must match. So if we had a Java file called, um, let's see, just example.java, then our class must be called example. If they don't match, then the program won't compile correctly. So it's very important that they match. So variables are listed directly under the class name. And generally, it's a good idea to make your variables either protected or private, as opposed to public, because this is for just kind of simple uh, security reasons and to avoid um, like confusions in your code. It's not great practice to have your uh, class variables uh, freely uh, accessed and edited by other classes, um, especially if you, you know, don't trust the people that you might be working on a project with. You want to make sure that um, your class works the way you want it to and it isn't, can't be manipulated by other classes. Um, again, protected. Uh, if you plan to derive other classes from this class, uh, you're going to want to use protected if you want those classes to inherit that that variable. Um, but if you don't plan on deriving classes from the current class, or if you don't want the derived classes to inherit any of the values or a specific value, you are going to make it private. Um, and another thing is, generally speaking, this isn't a, a universal law, but generally don't initialize your variables um, unless you have some kind of uh, you know, permanent or final uh, variable uh, that won't change ever. Um, but typically, um, you're going to set uh, initialize your variables in the constructor when you make an object of the class, um, which we'll talk about in just a second. All right, so here is a sample of the kind of the beginning, the declaration and the variables of a very simple Java class that I made for this workshop. It's just called animal.java. So always it's a good idea to comment your code as much as possible to clarify what you're doing, what certain things are. So in this case, um, I comment that I'm starting the animal class and then I make my class declaration of public class animal. So that's the accessibility indicator declaring it as a class, and then the name of the class, animal, which matches the name of the file. Cool, and then I have my opening bracket, and then within that bracket, I have a comment for my variables, and my variables here are a protected string that's called species, and I'm not initializing it, um, and a protected int called lifespan. Um, now, I want these protected because I plan on deriving other classes from the animal class. You know, animal's a pretty generic term. You can have different types of animals. So I might want to derive the information from an animal class and put it into a more specific class, uh, like a fish class or a giraffe class or something of that sort. Um, and we'll talk about that in, in a little bit. Um, but notice I don't initialize these variables uh, because, you know, there isn't one final species for all animals. Animals have many different species. Um, so that would be something that is initialized when you create a specific instance of this class as an object. So with that being said,